This is a demonstration of the IDERA DB Optimizer. This is a multi-database platform, uh, so Oracle, SQL Server, Sybase, and DB2. And it's a tool to help you find and fix all the problematic or poorly performing SQL in your organization. Now, when you come into this tool, the first thing you will do is you will do what's called profiling a session. What this does, when I click this, it will start a session, and now it is capturing all the activity that's occurring in my database. It'll capture the SQL statements, the events, and the sessions. Now, I have one of those already collected, and I will show you that. So here I have where I have run the TPCH data warehousing benchmark 22 very complex queries against my SQL Server database. And I can see that the activity occurred during this period from 7 o'clock in the morning um, to 7.08. Uh, I've got select statements that occurred. I've got wait events that occurred, and I have sessions. And what's interesting is when I look at these events that are on the graph, green makes sense to me, CPU, not really sure what the pink was. So I come down here and I mouse over it, and it says, hey, pink you have your degree of parallelism set too high for the machine that you're working on. So without having to drill down into anything, I already know I found one big problem. I've got the degree of parallelism set incorrectly. So I go and I'm going to run the exact same benchmark, only this time I'm going to reduce my degree of parallelism. And now pink turns to green, CPU, I know what that means. And now I can see that I have SQL statements that uh, were getting executed as this benchmark was running. And if I pick a particular execution of a SQL statement and I say, let's tune it, that will bring up this window here. Now, when this window comes up, you'll notice that uh, it says my tuning statements are out of sync. They want me to refresh them. That makes sense. I ran this earlier today. And I'm going to say that I were to perform a detailed analysis and I want to execute these statements maybe once or twice. Sometimes you want to do them multiple times because you want to eliminate any skew from caching or anything else that occurs. And when I run this now, what's going to happen is it's going to look at this select statement. I'll bring that up while we are. Uh, and it comes up with these rewrites. And now that it's got these rewrites, it's also going to go out and run each of these rewrites twice. And it's going to stop if any of them are worse than the one I have. I don't need to see it tell me that things were worse. And look at that. The first one here that came up was to recompile the query. And instead of taking three seconds to run, it took 0.84 seconds. And it even decreased the CPU time. So I got a major reduction in my elapsed time. I got a minor reduction in my CPU time, and my logical reads were not a whole lot worse. And if I wonder, well, what does that actually mean? What does the statement look like? I can compare that to the original statement, and then I can see that what happened is, before, we have this option with a max uh, degree of parallelism of one. So that's uh, an option or an optimizer hint. And here it is where it has been set to recompile. That's the only difference between the two statements. And one statement runs more than three times faster than the other. Now, normally it will find many different SQL statements. And as you can see, here are some SQL statements that timed out. Basically, it was going to take this SQL statement longer to run than the original. So it will stop running it. And it, it is still checking a couple of others. A lot of them did time out. But let's say that, uh, that I am happy with, instead, this guy, hash group, because I look at it, and not only did it reduce the uh, elapsed time and the CPU time, but uh, it's an optimizer hint that makes more sense to me. I'm forcing a hash grouping uh, type query and maybe I'll go with that one. And again, I can compare that to the parent. And I can see that really all that's changed is that option or optimizer hint. Now, that's great. I've got things running three times faster, but am I done? And the answer is no. 
If I come over to this analysis tab, I can see a picture of what I'm working on. And so like right here, I have uh, an in clause. And if I mouse over it, I can see. And if I click on it, it actually highlights it. And I can say, OK, that piece is there. And orders, line item, customer. But what's really important is down here, the index analysis. Now, if it's gray, this is an index that just basically could not be used. The optimizer doesn't have any conditions where this index can contribute or make things better. Now, if it were blue, and I don't have any blue here, then that would be that the index uh, could have been used, but the optimizer chose not to use it because other indexes were better. If it's in green, these were the indexes actually used by the optimizer when that was run. And if it's orange, this is an index that we can suggest to you, and we can also create it for you. We can come over here and say, go ahead and get that index. And what it tells me is my line item table, it was doing a full table scan. And so if I had had an index on my line item key, things would have run faster. So now I have a query rewrite that makes it run three times faster, and I also have an index suggestion that will make that run even faster still. These are the two main key features of DB Optimizer. I encourage you to download a trial and test it out. Again, it works for Oracle, SQL Server, Sybase, DB2. And if you have questions, please contact your IDERA sales rep. Thank you.